Hey, Denise, thank you so much for joining me today. I'm so happy to see your face again. Hi, Francisca. It's always lovely to see you catch up. Yeah, same. And, and today's purpose is to share a little bit about your business journey and mm -hmm. your journey into becoming a business owner. Also talking a little, about, a little bit about the highlights and the lowlights and yeah. also your experience in the Clever Bunch. So why don't you tell us a little bit about your business and also why you chose this specific industry? Okay, yeah, sure. You're passionate about what you do. Sure. Our business is called Transition Group and we um, set up the business in recruiting. So recruiting in life science area because that's my husband's background. Um, and also between us, we collectively have about 60 years experience in senior management and lower management. And we just thought if we combined Trev's science background with his management knowledge, plus my knowledge of coaching, training and facilitating, we could set up a really awesome recruitment business. My side of it, I didn't bring my side of it in straight away. We focused on recruiting. And the reason why we did it was, it's a typical cliche, but we love working with people and we love helping people. And we just thought, okay, we do this in companies, but why can't we do it in our own business and really just have our own processes and our own style and bring in what we love doing aside from what a company does. That was it. That was over, a, that was at a bar one Friday evening, sitting there just talking about where we're going and what we're doing. And we wrote notes down on the serviette. That was it. <laughs> it was actually really, that, that's how it happened. It, yeah. That's, that's, yeah. That's, it's not a cliche, yeah. it's actually that's how you guys. <laughs> yeah. And at the same time, we designed the company logo on a coaster. That's incredible. That's, How long ago was that? Uh, 19 years ago, nearly 20 years ago. Yeah. So when we, when we start to think, oh, let's come up with some great ideas. Okay, let's go find a bar. <laughs> you just let the brain wander. And it's, I love that. it's great. Yeah. And Never regretted it. Yeah, no, I know you're, you're super passionate and you're also really good at what you do. And, you. and even 19 years later, it, so few businesses make it even past the five or 10 year mark. Mm -hmm. You're almost at the 20 year mark, which is incredible. So on this almost two decades of, yeah. oh, during the two, two, two decades of running a business, what were some of the most difficult times or what, what stands out to you as something that was really quite challenging? I think the, the most difficult part is cash flow when you first start out because it's scary. You have a commitment with your, your living expenses and you have to make sure you bring that money in. And so cash flow was the scariest ever. Um, many a time we'd have a, sleep a sleepless night wondering, okay, where's the next dollar going to come from? but you don't let that stop you. You just get up and do it. And one of the things you did say just then, Francisca, is you know being in business for nearly two decades, but many people don't make it. We were actually, that was actually said to us quite a few times when we first mentioned we were going to start the business. Many people said to us, oh, you won't pass three years. And we're still here. Yeah. So you don't let those comments stay in your brain. You get rid of them. Yeah, and and I wonder if if we drill down even more. So cash flow is definitely a topic that many business owners, whether startup or even further down the track, struggle with or or are challenged by. Mm -hmm. And then also that negative talk from others often, and, and even our own self talk. Mm -hmm. What did did you have some specific things or, or, or activities or things that you told yourself during those challenging times where, where you couldn't sleep all night because you were thinking, we mm -hmm. have no idea mm -hmm. where the next money mm -hmm. is coming from. Sure. Um, Trev and I are really different in how we work. So I have always been a journal writer. 
So I would just jot down all my thoughts. And if I couldn't sleep at night, I would get up and I would just jot down what was going on. Whereas Trip doesn't. He just thinks about it. And his brain is really interesting <laughs> from the point of view of I've seen the waves here move when he's working on something and he gets his answer I have seen it's like having wrinkles and they move, move up and down I have just seen that in him and when I see that I know he's worked through it so he's very different from from me I'm a um, I also did um, visualizing as well and also um Um, he he's a great one for okay let's do a mind map and he'll write down what he's thinking and he'll just jot all that down so that's how we coped and it worked well really worked well yeah I love that and and everyone has their own little way of of dealing with 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 some challenges or opportunities I'm actually similar to you too my when when I'm going through something a little bit difficult yeah. or I have to think something through or I'm not sure just yet it's yeah. always a journal I always grab the journal and I just write and sometimes it might take a week or so to just write 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 and not not really expect an outcome and then suddenly the outcome will come from it's almost like talking it out with myself which yeah. is yeah it's, it's, I often say it's great to talk aloud to yourself because yeah. boy it it really does happen and it's just um it's just Francisca allowing the process don't get stressed in what's happening just allow the process of okay you're writing and allow yourself to be free and I often say to people even if nothing comes just put a pen there and you'll start writing and that's what I used to do. And I still do it. I still journal. I love yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, same here. Now, on this 19 years journey, what is one of the highlights that jumps out at you? What is one of your favorite parts? I'm sure there are um, many. Yeah, I think the biggest one was, once again, Trev being creative with his brain and partnering with companies to have so he he now has partnerships with companies that he does their recruiting and so by doing that you don't have any cash flow problem because you partner with them that you have continuous business at a certain dollar value per month and that that's a great way of doing business it takes a lot of stress but also companies love it because they understand that you are totally dedicated to them and you will look after them so that's one of the the biggest um, ideas and the other great idea was bringing in the courses to help job seekers you know, find what they're really good at or find what they'd like to do. And that's been really good to do because yeah. I used to coach, but doing the courses, it frees people up because they can just access the courses themselves. Yeah, and it's it's additional support and it's also something that makes you different in this space. Which yeah. Is, which is, uh, you know, a, a really great way to to be known to in, in your space. Yeah. Now, you're also a graduate in the from the Clever Bunch program. Yep. What? I am. Yes, you are a proud graduate, both of I you. <laughs> Why did you choose to join oh. the Clever Bunch when you did? Okay, <laughs> good question. <laughs> Why did I choose? Um, I think the bottom line is I was ready to work I wanted to work with a company who would really help me with the marketing side of our courses. And um, you were recommended by our daughter-in-law and I loved what you do and did, but I was ready to get my teeth into working with someone who had far more knowledge than me. 
He just took the weight off me. So in speaking to Trev and speaking to Christo all about it, we just thought, no, this is what we need. So here we did it. And, and at the time, what were some of the biggest challenges? So cash flow may have been? Um, well, cash flow by then was okay, but it was more the frustrations of, oh, gosh, here we go. We've got to do it all again. And how do we do it? And what is the right type? type of marketing and the frustrations of not knowing is fine to ask people and it's fine to google but who knows the answers are the people who are the expertise in the area that is it no it's like oh, don't waste your time just go to people who know so i didn't want the frustration of i've tried this i've tried that i don't know where to go I just wanted to work with someone or a group or a company who can help me with all of that. And that were you, that was you guys. Yeah, that's, uh, and I'm glad it was us because we, we love having you in the community. And, and it's, it's like you say, you know, we can spend hours and hours on any area, whether it's marketing or, or, or relationships or investing, we can spend uh -huh. hours and hours Googling and trying to sift through all this information, or we can fast track and go to someone who, is specialized in, in exactly a, yeah exactly yeah and the same with recruitment we can either you know google or we can go and fast track our success by working with someone like you how has the clever bunch helped you achieve some of your goals what's the oh, well i think the biggest thing for me was clever bunch took the pressure off me clever bunch took the frustrations off me Clever Bunch took the scariness of where do I go and what do I do? So what the Clever Bunch did was it gave me the tools and the processes to use to go through what are the marketing tools that we are needing right now, e.g. social media. I needed to understand social media. I didn't understand. I'd use it but I didn't really understand it. So just, well, I shouldn't say just, but by having that really helped me because by doing, being in the Clever Bunch, I realised social media was one of our biggest things we needed to do. We have a really good database. We have really good connections. This is in recruitment and this is in life sciences. But we know nothing about social media and we needed to learn that. And that's what the Clever Bunch helped us with. Yeah, and, and you've definitely embraced some of the social channels, especially LinkedIn. Lisa just came in before and she said, oh yeah, I see you everywhere on LinkedIn. And you yeah. get great results now too. Yeah, so thank you because that's what Trevor and I needed to learn from you guys was what was lacking with, like we needed to be validated and you guys validated that for us, that that was something that was lacking in our skill, skill set and you guys helped us with that skill set and you also taught me contract things out. Don't try and do it all yourself because another problem when you, when you do start out is you want to do it all yourself, but there comes a stage where no, enough's enough. Yeah, exactly. And one thing that we, we talk a lot about in the Clever Bunch and, and we create is, is the strategies that then can be outsourced without yep. wasting time and money, which is exactly yeah. what you've done. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Now, in the Clever Watch, there are so many different things. There are the, the, the sessions the, that we have together. There is the help desk. There is the community. There are the masterminds. What, what is some of your, what is one of your favorite things about the Clever Bunch or even a favorite moment throughout the program? Gee, there's a lot. Um, I think being in a group with a group of people who have the same frustrations as you 
is number one because that is a great support network because never once did I feel stupid, intimidated, uncomfortable, never once because the majority of us were all new business owners or been in business for a while, but we needed to learn something. So that was um, one. The other one was learning about your keywords on your website, where to place them. That was, that's been great, that one. Love that one. Um, and also one of the things I liked was, you know how um, when we started each session, we'd always start with a celebration. My gosh, that is awesome because you get to learn other people are still like you. They might not have the sales to celebrate, as in, oh, I made 5,000 last week. Other people were like myself. I didn't make 5,000, but I have got a celebration to share. And each person in the group was really, really happy for you, no matter what your celebration was. So it was that, it was the knowledge of yourself and Christo. It, it's worth a million dollars, the information you guys have and the information that you're prepared to share, plus your support from Lisa and everybody else who works with you. So there's a lot of, there's a lot of things. Oh, thank you. And, and, and one of the highlights that you mentioned is, is definitely one of my favorite parts, which is the community. I, I really love seeing business owners get together and then the aha moments you have from somebody oh. else who doesn't know your business is looking suddenly at your business and, and sort of sharing things that you don't see because you're so close to it. And some of it is like, oh, oh. Oh, I right. don't see this, and, and it's th that that's one of my favorite things. It's this this energy that the community creates for each you're, other. Yeah, yeah, absolutely right. Yeah, and everyone is just so helpful, so positive, and they want you to succeed. No one in my group, I never felt anyone in my group be impatient with me, um, think what I'm doing is silly. I never, ever felt that. But I think that also goes back to the way you and Christo facilitated as well. So it's just a combination. It's, it was really good. Yeah, and then obviously we also do interviews with everyone who applies so nobody can just join the program so we can sort of see yes. what are they like and, and, you know, if they're a good human and they have a... Uh, yes. business that we know we can help then they're invited yes. if not then yes very much so yes now, because some I actually remember Christo saying that once that it's important to interview yes. your people because they might not suit your business e.g with you guys sure all of us want business and all of us want money but if they're going to be hard work not just Mm -hmm. it's just in any business if a client is going to be hard work no 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 don't take it on just for the money that's that's one of the key lessons I think that we all need to take away from this now talking about key lessons I I do have two last questions sure so you've been in business for 19 years there's <laughs> so much gold right there that you can yeah. share with with other business owners whether they've they've been in business for a while or or they're new to business one question that I have is what do you wish you had known when you first started your business? I wish I had not done. Or what do you wish you had known? You know, uh, oh, okay. to, your, um, to your person when you 19 years ago, what do you wish you had known back then? Back then? I wish I had known that you don't know everything because you know what you think you do you really do because you're confident and you do know your subject matter but I wish I had known the ins and outs of running a business there's more to it mm -hmm. e.g marketing is a good one 
Yeah, and it's okay to ask for help. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Don't be scared. But however, Francisca, be careful who you ask for help from. That's a big one. <laughs> you got, big you one. got to make sure they know what they're talking about. Yeah, and we've seen it all. We've seen it yeah. all. So yes, that, that's a big qualifier on that question. The last question I have for you is, what is a word or a few words of wisdom you'd like to share with fellow business owners? Um, I think the biggest thing is have faith in yourself. If you have made a decision that you want to run a business and you are very confident and competent in your abilities and you've done your homework on it, then have faith in your decision and make that decision work and focus on what you're doing. Don't give in. Just don't give in. And please do not allow all the people who say you won't make it get into your head. Just keep focusing on what you want. Have your vision. You'll get there. I love it. Thanks so much. Very Pleasure. Nice words from a very seasoned business owner. Thank you Pleasure. again so much, Denise. You're always very generous and giving. Pleasure, yeah, Francis. You interact. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you to Clever Bunch. You're an awesome group and um, just keep doing the good work. We will. We love it. And we will keep doing the good work thanks to people like you. So thanks again, Denise. Very welcome. You take care. Bye for now. See you. Bye-bye.